Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host Mark and today we're going to be taking a look at the newest figure in the Batman classic TV series line, Catwoman. Now, I have actually seen her listed online somewhere as unmasked Catwoman. You can see that she does have her ears, but alas, no mask. So I'm thinking that maybe sometime in the future we may get a masked version of Catwoman. Seems a little redundant unless she comes with maybe a treasure or maybe a whip. Um, um, and the fact that she doesn't come with a um, some sort of like trophy or some sort of golden cat statue that she could pilfer from one of Gotham's elite seems a little um, it seems a little absent. That seems like a really nice and fairly cheap accessory they could have thrown in. But alas, she doesn't come with anything except for her awesome base. So you can see nice um, um, likeness of Julie Newmar in there and the the black and gold. She looks very very nice. Flipping around here on the back. You can see nice little write-up about her. I'll kind of tilt it to get that glare off if you guys want to pause the video and read it right there. A nice art of the character right there, a little more purple than we saw in the TV show. No new figure shown at the bottom, but we do know that um, the surfboard Batman, surfing Batman is in there. And we've even seen pictures of a surfing Joker, which seems a little goofy, but okay. Um, and this is the um, the last figure in the line that I'll be getting until new figures are announced, and uh, we'll probably see something like that at Toy Fair next year. Um, I know there's a ton of villains we could get to and different versions of Batman and Robin I'm sure they'll make, but uh, until then, let's get this uh, this uh, the, the feline pilferer out of her package and check out how cool she actually is. Okay, here we have Miss Kyle opened up out of the package, and um, right off the bat, I uh, I gotta tell you, I love figures with bases. Figures with bases are okay in my book. I love it when they come with the base. The one thing I don't like about this base, however, as you can see, is like the Riddler, her card art, um, which is pretty fantastic. I love this idea of her tying up Batman and uh, getting getting the upper hand, as it were. But um, her card art is not vertical, so you can't really. Um, you can't really, uh, it doesn't really look good when standing up behind her. Just like the Riddler, his card art was um, horizontal as well. So other than that, not a fan. But um, anyway, let's get this out of the way and take a closer look at the figure. She is pretty fantastic. This is an absolutely awesome version of the Julie Newmar Catwoman. I think she looks great. I love the um, the black tight suit. Love the gold the, the gold belt and the gold necklace around her neck. This is probably, next to the Riddler, my favorite villain um, from this um, Batman TV Classics line. She looks pretty fantastic. A little uh, Black Widow-ish from the back right there. Love the ears. And like I said, I have heard this is being referred to as the unmasked version, so I wonder if one day down the road we'll get a masked version of Catwoman. Um, I'm sure there's some already custom versions of this figure out there with the mask on, and I bet she looks pretty fantastic. Other than the card art, though, this is all you get. No whip. No statue, no jewels, no safe, no nothing. Um, and, and that would have been nice. But, you know, as we've seen, except for the, um, the penguins um, umbrella, these villains are pretty much accessory-less. Accessory they just don't come with a lot. So um, <clears throat> there's not a lot added to this figure. So, But that being said, she is pretty fantastic and a must own for your um, 1966 collection. Sorry about bumping the camera there. So taking a look at the articulation, because she does articulate a little differently um, than the other figures. I do like that they sculpted the hands in this sort of gesturing or open position because you see that it works good for getting her hands in, um, on her hips or even just gesturing as if she was kicking or sneaking around or prowling around which is I think great for the character. Um, she's got one of the best sculpted um, figures on a female um, that I've seen uh, in a while. She's got some very nice female curves with the way that she puts weight on this leg, the way her hips are set forward, the sculpting um, in this area. It's pretty fantastic. It looks like it was ripped straight from a comic book page, which is pretty cool. That's a nice achievement um, in sculpting, I think, that they've done. So... Um, <clears throat> As far as the articulation goes, she does have um, her shoulders can raise lower. They're on a pin socket. You have a cut joint above the elbow. Nice standard bend below the elbow. And uh, the hand is on a cut joint as well. You um, have waist articulation, not at the belt, but 
up in her abdomen area. The head is um, pretty well articulated despite all the hair. Um, it, you would think it would really get in the way, but um, it doesn't. Uh, it does when you're trying to lift it up, um, but tilting it down and all around doesn't really get in the way. Let's get her off the base. Um, you can see that she does have sort of that Mattel Four Horsemen um, hip articulation, which is really nice for this figure for kicking. Um, she does have a oddly placed cut joint right here, right above the knee. I would think it would have been a little higher. Regular articulation at the knee, I would have liked a um, uh, double knee articulation joint. I think would have been really nice. But you, um, and then no, oh yeah, the foot goes back and forward under the cuff. Not above the cuff. Sorry, if that's out of out of frame, out of focus. I have a tendency to not look at the back of my camera when I'm doing this, which is another reason why I don't do a lot of articulation um, uh, poses in my in my videos. So um, why don't we uh, zoom in and take a closer look at some of the detailing, the sculpting, and the paint apps on this fantastic figure? <clears throat> okay, so zooming in here, you can see some of the fantastic detail, sculpting, and paintwork that they've added to this figure. She looks absolutely stunning. Now, when we did see the prototypes of this figure, her eyes were a little smokier. The uh, the mascara was a little, or the eyeshadow was a little heavier, so she looked a little, a little more seductive. Um, you know, people have complained that she has a slightly sleepy pose. I really don't think that that's... <clears throat> A sleepy look on her face. I really don't think that's accurate. I think it's very sexy, very sedu seductive, just like she was on the um, on the show. So I really dig that. Nice cat ears up top. I love the uh, the hair sculpting. It looks pretty fantastic. This is just an all around all around well sculpted, well painted figure. Um, I think if you needed the extra smokiness in the eyes, I think you could add that in on your own. Not a problem. Um, Going down a little bit, you can see the nice sculpted detail on the necklace around her neck, which is pretty cool. You can see the nice sculpting detail around the abdomen. It actually looks like um, that there is skin and muscle underneath that um, form-fitting tight um, cat suit. You can see the, the, the belly button, the stomach muscles, the hip bones, all really, really nice. You can see nice detailing on the gold belt. Very, very cool, and the paint is fantastic. Um, one of the things with, that would have been nice is um, maybe seeing um, some cat claws on the hands. I don't remember if she had those on the uh, TV show or not, but like little silver tips would have been cool. Or maybe I'm thinking of Michelle Pfeiffer's cat suit from uh, um, Batman Returns. I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, nice detail throughout. Pretty fantastic looking figure. Um, detailing on the back of the belt and the back of the suit. Very, very cool. I just absolutely love this figure. It's super, super fantastic. So as you can see, Catwoman can more than hold her own <laughs> against Batman and Robin here. Um, these figures just look absolutely great together. I am so incredibly happy to add um, Catwoman to my collection. And just a little side note, you can see that moving Batman away, she is holding that pose on her own with just her foot in the base. So nice articulation as we, as we went over and uh, nice tight joints to allow her to get into some pretty decent poses so she can uh, square off against... Uh, old Batman and Robin here. So um, that's going to about do it for this review. I am so incredibly happy to add her to my collection, and I can't wait to see where this line goes in the future. I'm hoping to add lots more um, villains to my uh, to uh, my 1966 collection. This 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 is a collection that's just absolutely fun to play with, to look at, and collect. So this is Catwoman here is a definite addition to anybody's collection. So definitely pick her up. So uh, that's going to about do it for this review. Um, as always, we're going to ask if you dug it, please like, comment, or subscribe and be sure to check out all of our other video transmission action figure reviews right here on Ungrownups channel on youtube.com.